welcome to this beautiful guided meditation. And so wherever you are, you have probably already taken some steps to arrive. So you already get to give yourself credit, which is pretty major because we tend to rush through the day, rush through our lives. I said to a mom the other day, oh, it's those really um, long days and short years. Because what happens is even when we're building a life of our dreams, right? We, can, we tend to get stuck in some of these daily, whether it's a routine or the lack of routine. And so I just want you to give yourself credit for arriving right here, wherever you are, whether it's on a yoga mat, whether it's on a couch, a bed, in your car, if you're watching a replay. And so you get to really arrive here. So whatever that means for you, if you're closing the eyes, if you're gazing at nature, if you're already starting to notice the rise and fall of your breath. If you're already starting to notice how your body feels. And then just knowing whatever your experience is today, that oftentimes contrast gets to be a teacher, gets to show us what is possible, gets to show us what we don't like so we can choose what we do like. And so oftentimes we can feel like we're bouncing back and forth between things are okay, things are not okay, things are okay, things are not okay. And can you let yourself just rest here in the midst of a moment where you don't have to make any decision, amidst a moment where you get to be nurtured? And so I've said it here before, in yoga class, can you let your breath be the mantra? And so the way that you're breathing now gets to be a breath of nurturing. And oftentimes with meditation, there's this idea that we are going to fit ourselves into a box, that we are going to empty out the mind, that we are going to just dial up an experience, or that we are going to just jump into the vastness of our consciousness of existence. But there's also this way that we can step into creative being in this space. And so if you were cultivating something, if you were going to cultivate something, you know, what would it be? If you were going to cultivate an energy for yourself, how does it feel? And so what, even if you are stuck in a looping of lack or a looping of fear, frustration, things not going your way. You get to use your creative spirit, creative energy, imagination to reach outside yourself, to just reach a little bit further than your experience, knowing that change will come. And so no matter where your mind is taking you, let your body bring you into the moment. Coming back to that breath, that vibration of the intention. And so when you're in your heart space, gets to be both giving and receiving. So can you let your breath be this act of calling all parts of yourself in? And at the same time, allowing the parts of you that are working beyond your consciousness to pass out. Not needing to overthink or be a perfectionist around protection. Knowing that when you are aligned within your body, in your energy, emotional and beyond, it's already done for you. Designed to feel safe, protected, to be seen. And then it's in that place that you get to come a little bit deeper into yourself, into the remembering of letting things be simple, of letting things be easy, of even stepping into the miracle that we get to start each day over and over and over. 
So rather than another breath feeling like more work or more of the same, can you even feel into how each breath gets to be just a little bit different, just a little bit more customized to meet your needs, customized to calibrate as you cultivate that experience place of creation, really even feeling that source energy within you. And so with this expression of your breath, your breath print, whether it's something that you are guiding, controlling, or not, just observing, it gets to be what it is. And so you feel the contrast between the inhale and the exhale. You get to feel the grounding and the clearing. And then we'll move into a period of silence here. We'll take about five to eight minutes and then I'll call you back. It's going to be a little bit longer of a silence than we usually take. And so the invitation is to notice if and when you drift away from presence. So whatever that means for you, whether it's the embodied experience, whether it's a certain level of consciousness or brainwave, really lovingly guiding yourself back to where you want to be, coming into a place of choice. And so that you know, no matter where each moment or each breath takes you, you always get to choose where are you headed now? Where are you headed now? And then I'll call you back.
So even here, as we come back together, where is the breath moving in your body? Where do you feel it moving? As we dive into the stillness, we get to find the movement of our breath. This beautiful body that knows how to take care of us as we go about each day. And we're going to settle in for a little energy balancing, harmonizing. And so you'll imagine your heart space. And I want you to come to the back body. So it's that part of your body that's beyond your line of sight. If you imagine your heart as a three-dimensional shape. And sometimes I like to think of a big hall like a bookshelf in a library where you get to come onto the other side of the bookshelf and look straight through. So if your heart was just on this shelf and you were at the back of the shelf, can you imagine there being a dial there at the back of your heart, like a little wind-up toy, maybe. And as that dial starts to turn, there's an opening at the front of the heart, like an aperture that's slowly opening up, widening as that dial turns. Opening things up like your heart is this light that's just spilling forward onto your path. That single journey that only you can take. And so even when we're coming into this place of connection with community, friends, loved ones, we're still anchored in with our personal choice, anchored in with our personal path, personal power, and so even though sometimes this human experience can feel quite lonely, remember that there's power there in your ability to choose, your ability to take in information and then shift it, determining the next step forward. And so you get to feel the contrast between those infinite possibilities, unlimited potential, and the unique single purpose of your path. And so let that heart shine forward. If there's a little bit more space, that last little crank, that opening, letting the light spill, filling any places of darkness, any places of doubt or worry. And then two more breaths. And so we've opened up this horizontal plane of energy through the heart space. And now opportunity to come back into that vertical line through the center of your body, your shishuma, crown of the head, tailbone. Maybe that grand conjunction point where the two meet. Can you allow a tenderness there? Portal into the physical. Last invitation is to let yourself be surrounded by your guides. And different versions of you that are asking to be loved. So that could be uh, future versions of you. That could be the inner child part of you. That could be parts of you that are playing out certain stories right now, asking for attention. It could be role models, mentors, people who inspire you. And let's be real, 
even sometimes these people show up and we have a little bit of maybe jealousy, a little bit of that yearning and comparing. Can you still allow those people to help shine onto the parts of you that are ready to grow? Are you ready to shine a little brighter? Knowing again that, like I said earlier, that the contrast can really be a teacher. So even when we find ourselves in that comparison trap, what part of you wants to be seen? How is the mirror being held up so that you can really step into your true potential from a place of love, from a place of security? And so even now, just letting all the parts of you have a seat at the table that gets to be an act of nurturing. Nothing needs to be stuffed down. You are not a problem to be fixed. And in the next couple breaths, if there's any murkiness, any um, fogginess, any gray areas that are keeping you from that feeling of fullness at the table of your life, your path, just giving it a chance to clear out these next, next couple breaths. Anybody else's energy that maybe has latched on? It can even be other people's hopes and dreams for you. Just letting those clear out so you can become, become more attuned with your own heart, purpose, values. Imagination. Curiosity. Option to take one hand at the sternum and draw three circles. Like you're just coming right back into that center dial, that opening. And then same thing at the third eye center. And then we'll take one more breath. Let this breath be a blessing. hands onto your body, really giving yourself credit for ushering yourself into presence, for ushering yourself into a new experience, ushering yourself closer to you, ushering yourself closer to the parts of you that you are ready to share with others. And when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. And I didn't tell you to go and grab an oil, but if you have one handy, um, look, so you'll even already know what you have there, which is great. And I'm going to grab one as well. And so you'll place a drop or two in the palm. And so this aromatherapy application also gets to be a blessing. And so we'll just imprint back to your experience today during the meditation. If there was one portion or one part that felt really helpful that you want to take with you, so use the oil to connect with that intention. An option, depending on what type of oil you have and if it's safe to use topically, three circles in the palm of the hand and then three circles at the forehead center. So if it's citrus, you just want to be careful if you're going to be in the sun or if it says that it needs to be diluted, I trust your judgment and yeah, better to err on the side of caution. Also an option to take a little oil at the back of the neck if it's safe for topical. One, two, three. And so you let to have, you get to have those energy centers, crown of the head, back of the neck, brain stem, to create a little diagonal connection. Mm. Mm, thank you. 